What would happen if we empowered everyone to contribute to innovation, not just those with the money or the knowledge? It could add one trillion dollars a year in additional gross domestic product in the United States and create a broader pool of additional innovators to help address global issues and opportunities. Hi, I'm Chris Flynn, the founder of TIL, a social impact legal tech startup spun out of a law firm that I founded years ago. Succeeding would address challenges like the gentleman second and left in the image you see faced. Now, Uncle Wally Bennett wrote a hit song that should have been worth over a million dollars to him in the 60s, did not understand copyrights. Result, no royalties for my uncle, no generational wealth for him to pass on. Supporting my uncle would have also addressed four of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for 2030, including inequalities, innovation, employment and economic opportunity and partnerships. Specifically, structural barriers to innovation by the underrepresented create a choke point. The solution is to raise awareness, provide access to options to meet folks where they are, make it affordable, and provide available potential return on investment. Those solutions turn that choke point into a super highway. Clients come to the model through referrals, like Savan Hemby, that gentleman in the picture in the middle. Justice involved creating a clothing brand in Southeast DC using copyrights and trademarks. So Vaughn's taking the journey from awareness to access to affordable to potential return investment. We want Savan's journey to be similar to what you see from Dr. Ackerman, the client from the law firm in the upper right-hand corner. Because Dr. Ackerman used intellectual property and execution to sell his company last year for significant money, and we support him doing that. The business and all straightforward. Subscriptions and success fees delivered on a multi-sided marketplace that includes creatives and entrepreneurs who underrepresent communities, allies who want to help them, and partners who want to monetize and to acquire the intellectual property rights. The technology stack includes cloud computing for registration, artificial intelligence to match creatives with resources, blockchain to actually write the intellectual property into the blockchain for protection and potential monetization, and then additional monetization through Web3 technology. Our artificial intelligence and intelligent matching MVP and our protection and monetization blockchain chain MVP are operational today. We're going to market to address, to address a $6 billion service attainable market opportunity for copyrights globally, and a potential total addressable market opportunity of $40 billion for other forms of intellectual property that we believe can be addressed with our technology stack. There is competition ranging from do-it-yourself to law firms and between. However, we're finding the fact that our solution is half the market comparable in price, and it also creates opportunities for partnerships. Some of the competitors are interested in becoming cooperative readers to help us address the market opportunity. Our law team understands technology, innovation, and law, and we have additional later stage co-founders and advisors with knowledge in finance, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity components built into our technology stack. When we began this work as a law firm, we created quite a bit of traction and raised some funds, which allowed us to launch the technology startup today. And that's why we graduated it from the University of Maryland's Blockchain Accelerator, and it has achieved its own set of traction. We're raising funds to scale and also to go to market, and we look forward to an opportunity to work with you to show that we can make the world a better place through intellectual property rights. Thank you.